on your first advance that you're not getting any, you're saying call it quits from there. Done. And uh, send it back home. Done. Absolutely. Cut your losses. Don't go any further. Because the further it goes, the more you're going to be expecting. Obviously, your point of view, you're not being a gentleman at all. And that, and that right there is like, that right well, there, I, it's still here to be a gentleman. Like, Okay, well then, well then, then say then in your words. I just call you out to be a gentleman. Like, let's keep it. But but, hold on, X. A woman out, and you pay for her. You know, all expenses paid, and whatever y'all talked about, the reason was that you flew her out. Um, Do you feel entitled to having sex with her because you did that, whether it was talked about or not? Do you feel entitled to it? And please answer honestly. You know I'm going. You know, bruh. You know I'm going. Hell yeah. <clears throat> now I'm not saying like I'm entitled to where I'm taking what is what is not being given to me. Right. But I'm damn sure expecting it. And the first move I make that gets denied, I'm making a B roll right back to the airport. Like let's just stop this bullshit right now. Let's just stop this. Let's, stop <laughs> this. let's not let this get any further. Let's not let you get to the crib or the hotel, and then that 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 avoidance persists we didn't give you a, i didn't give you a free trip for no reason bro you knew what the deal was when you got it don't act like you didn't know what the deal was and i shouldn't expect it or the male shouldn't expect it after he flew you out you know what getting flewed out is all about bro i don't like that i don't like that at all all right um I, the way i look at it I, I don't i never have an entitlement mindset with anything oh, yeah. so full of shit. you know what i said so full of it bro. Never had, i never have an entitled mindset you, hey, know what yo. I mean? you are so full oh, of it obviously, right obviously the only reason why this is brought up is because um obviously people weren't uh successful in that venture of trying to get some you know what i'm saying but um i never i don't have an entitlement mindset with anything and if uh you if you flew somebody out and um and you weren't successful i mean it is what it is they, they don't have they don't have a like if they don't like you and the vibe wasn't right the vibe wasn't right you hey know? yo no no, now, no, hold no, on. no hold on now if, if women playing a game of like you know using people for their money and stuff like that that's not cool neither too so i'm on both sides but entitlement you know when it comes to that like you know I don't look at entitlement. Like, like I don't. I don't want to use the word entitled. I mean, I'm not. You're not entitled to any of that. It's not yours. So you're not entitled to it. But is it? Un, is it? Is it unfair for me to expect it? I don't. I don't think so. I don't think it's unfair for the guy to expect it. After we've been, I can imagine what the DMs and texts look like that got the gentleman to fly out the lady. You dig what I'm saying? Right. I'm quite sure those texts weren't. Hey you fly i don't think i'm kind of want to do anything sexual but you mind flying me out to uh to miami this weekend to come see you like that'd be awesome right good point. like I, I don't see that happening so we you knew what the deal was when you when you when you took that man's flight and you got on that flight right I think to get there and not at least to expect him to expect some type of physical uh contact i think is unrealistic i think that's really unrealistic I didn't. I wasn't paying for your vacation, but it, it it all depends too. Like if if they were like obviously DMing each other, texting each other, sending messages, sending pictures. I mean, they should have got an idea whether or not they were what they were. Uh, I guess sexually attracted to one another. So whether or not like when they when she got there, you know, they obviously something didn't click and it the vibe wasn't right. And yeah, she has every right to be like, shit, I'm I'm she, good. She does, and this is why I said you make an immediate U-turn to the airport. Like, don't don't go don't go any further. Like, as soon as the first advance gets denied, say it was really nice seeing you. Um, I'm gonna drop you back off at the airport. I got some things I need to take care of. Um, it was a pleasure. You get home safely. Right. Respectfully. Respectfully. That's it. That's all that's all I'm saying. Because I think any man that's get out here and says, "Hey, yo, I'm, I'm I flew her out just so we can Netflix and chill," I call I call BS on. <clears throat> I call BS on. Like, let's just keep it one hundred. Like, that's all. I, that's the only thing I don't like. It's just like put it out on the table and let's keep it one hundred. Like, don't BS me. Right. All right. No, I, I I get you. I mean, if if if, but then, dude, if you flew her out, you know what I'm saying, and um, 
you 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 notice right off the back on your first advance that you're not getting any. You're saying call it quits from there. Done. And uh, send it back home. Done. Absolutely. Cut your losses. Don't go any further because the further it goes, the more you're going to be expecting. And if you continue to curve it, don't put yourself in that situation. Just call it a day. Like, I, I, we I could FaceTime. We could have FaceTime and did this. I didn't have to fly you out for this. I don't agree. Netflix and chill three way. I don't agree with that at all. I mean, I mean, if you there's no way, obviously, your point of view, you're not being a gentleman at all. And that, and that right there is like, that right well, there. I was here to be a gentleman. Like, okay, well then, well then, and say then, in your words, I just you out to be a gentleman. Like, let's keep right, it. But, but hold on, X. That wasn't that wasn't expressed through the text messages and the DMs. You didn't tell her. Hold on, I didn't, I didn't finish. Hold on, what's that? No, no, you didn't no. tell her. I expect you to be a prostitute. I'm gonna pay you to come out here, and we're gonna have sex. That and that's the only way it'll go down. You know what I'm saying? That's what the DMs were for. Again, I'm calling BS. Like you're trying to you're trying to make excuses for it, and I'm just trying to I'm, I'm keeping it 100. I'm 80 percent to 90 percent sure that provocative talk was happening in the DM. That's how she got the guy uh, to 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 flew her out. Is because of how 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 sensual the conversations were in the DM, and to and to not to expect that to manifest into a physical contact after I flew you out. Again, I think it's unrealistic unless. It was specifically discussed. Hey, yo, I'm just, I'm just coming to see you. That's it. Don't expect nothing. I'm just coming to see you. I just want to see how tall you look in person. Like, if that's what you should have said that right from the door, because again, you're accepting free things from someone. You should expect something in return. That's just, that's just one hundred. Like, I, I dig what you're saying. You want to be all nice and gentle, bruh. That's not the way the world is scripted right now. Everything yeah, is transactional. We just said another video ago. Everything is transactional, especially in these relationships. I don't even know you. I done flew you out. Man. I call BS on that, bro, to not expect her to have to put out. Well, you added extras on it. That she was just what extras. No, you added your own like narrative a little bit. But, no. the, but listen, listen to what I'm saying. If you flew her out, and and in your in your case, those messages were going on in a DM and a text. And everything was going on, those sex, those sex messages or whatever the case it is. And she decided that she didn't want to have sex with you. Whose fault is that? Nobody's fault. And that's what I'm saying. Nobody's fault. That's why you say, hey, respectfully, I'm going to take you back to the airport. Respectfully. She ain't got to do. She, you're absolutely right. She doesn't have to do anything. And if she's not comfortable and she doesn't want to, she has every right to decline that. And you have every right to say, hey, yo, you mind? I'm going to call you an Uber. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe maybe he misread the signals. Maybe he misread the signals. This is why you're making a U-turn back to the airport. Mm. That's interesting. So comment. Tell me what you think down below. Like and subscribe. We'll see. I just think that, um, you know. Just because you think your first events, your first events, you're giving up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whose fault is it? It's a I numbers find it, game. I find bro. it comical. It's I find a numbers it comical. game. It's if it was my game. friend, if it was my friend that that happened to, I would be, I would go to the bar and I would be laughing at him the whole night, saying that, yo, you flew this girl out here thinking that she was going to get some. You didn't get any. Dog, that is your fault. She came here. She saw you in person. She said, yo, I don't want to mess with you. Let's just call it what it is. Maybe that wasn't in her, her head. head. In, her head. in her head, as soon as she saw you, your swag didn't match. Your, your your social media swag or your DM swag, it didn't match. It didn't match up. She decided she didn't want to, she could not have any sexual feelings for you. Ooh. It's your fault as a man. Like, oh my God. Nah, you, you in that scenario, in that, in, in that scenario right there, you're 100% right. Because if you, if you, if you false, you false per 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 perpetrated yourself. And when she gets there, like you said, your, your swag and your demeanor and how you carry yourself doesn't equal to how you portrayed yourself online. And that's why she changed her mind. Again, still fair game. And again, I suggest whoever you are, guy, you still make that U-turn. So whatever reason, she decided not to give you any. It doesn't matter why. It's just she decided not to. And you have every right to say, all right, that's cool. I think you take I think you take the whole L. 
You take the whole L. I, I don't think you should go in thinking. I mean, unless like in your first scenario, I mean, the way you put it, if it was, if that type of text was going on in the DM, then that's on, that's on both people. But if it wasn't going on like that, then you should expect it. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, come no, on. No, bro. No, like, no, you, no. Can't, if we, you can't go out on a date. Like you no, can't go out no. on a date and be a gentleman and like, you know what I mean? You, you know what though? It's, I'm kind of 50, 50. Cause like, I dig it. You're hundred percent right. I dig it. Like if he wasn't having that like heavy provocative, like, like after hour talk on, in the DMS and that wasn't happening and we talked about and you flew out that's a different you flew out just to spend time with me then that's a different situation from if the talk was kind of heavy in the dms i'm going on i'm going on a talk was heavy in the dms that's why she convinced him to come out of his pockets but if she if, if they were just building then that's something different right that's definitely something different but to but to never say it should be expected is what i'm saying like i don't like because on the first scenario if it was heavy talking to dm it's 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 kind of i can see why he would expect to smash if we was having heavy talks but dig this in your scenario too it, it's like if he expects to smash right away then in your scenario he might as well pay her to go back home too that then she's just a prostitute they couldn't just meet in the DM and talk like that. Hey, yo, that's my whole point. Because most of them are prostitutes. That's what I'm trying to. That, nah. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. Most of them this are the world, prostitutes. Bro, boy. And all this is transactional. That's how it's being portrayed. That's how it's being sold. It's being led with the sex, which is fine. But don't get mad when someone expects the sex when you're leading with the sex. That's all I'm saying. If we were having weeks. And, or, or days or whatever just just building conversation yo you dope it's nice talking to you you know what do you do what are you into that's a total different scenario but very rarely is yo most of the time it's like yo i was shaking my eyes video was dope you hit me up hey ma what's good son and now i want to smash like you got to make it clear what your intentions are from the beginning so i guess everybody fails in that scenario because I think I think as a woman for your safety before you let any man fly you out you need to be clear the parameters on which you're going out there and I think for the gentleman to keep himself in a safe situation as well those conversations need to be had on like what's his expectation when she gets out of here I like let's 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 be adults and have this conversation before anybody commits anything to this right all right cool like I said let me know what you think down below like subscribe we out here.